Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite manufacturers, which is now not in existence, and that is LeBlanc France. Now about 12, 15 years ago, LeBlanc France actually went out of business. LeBlanc USA bought them. Con Sommer bought them. So they really don't exist the way they did before. But some of my favorite models, the Dynamic Dominique line, was their product. And they evolved into the Big Easy for Pete Fountain model. We're going to take a quick look at the lineage of that model right now. Now, what I have here is my website, which is actually on my laptop. Uh, the older one is more complete than the newer one. And on here, we have the dynamic line here. And also have some advertisements down here. Uh, one of which is the Pete Fountain clarinets. We can see this particular model was basically a full boom, or actually, an, I should say, an enhanced boom in this model. It's missing the extra key in the longer lower joint to be a full boom. There's all the other keys, which are very handy. I've had full booms in the past, and I remember I sprained my left pinky once, and I just used my right hand to play everything. My right pinky to play everything it comes very handy. But you can see they also came, the late models, the P-Founder models came in gold-plated keywork and gold-plated rings and everything. So it was a very nice clarinet. I've seen them before. You know, and LeBlanc is one of my favorites. The Dynamic was a very nice clarinet that I liked. My favorite clarinet, though, in general was the LL. Now, continuing on, let's look at a 1974 price list. So here's the 1974 price list. The uh, 176H model, new dynamic H model, larger bore, 70 key, six rings, was $158.56. The standard LL was the same price. They had a plateau model, 200, which was 196, cost more money. And here's the 197 full boom. I'm not sure which exact model it is, but 200. And they also had the L7 model at that time, which had a taper bore, $187.55. The L7, I've played the L7. I'm going to have a review of one um, in a bit. I actually had a couple of L7s and an A model L7 too. Now, this was a LeBlanc catalog we're looking at here. It has Symphony 7 Opus, Symphony 7 Opus, Ambiance Concerto, Infinity, LX2000, Esprit, Sonata, LL. And the Pete Fountain model right here. We see once again we have a gold plated model that's a enhanced bone minus the one full bone thing. A standard model. Oh, that's a Nor that's a Normandy 45. Okay. And this is a spirit. Looking down here. These top two are Pete Fountain models. Let's go to the dynamic line now. So the model evolution, which is the model 1610 I have down here, was the Dominique, Dominique 2. The Dynamic, then di di Dynamic 2, Dynamic H, Dynamic H with Pete Fountain on the bell in script, then the Pete Fountain Big Easy model through 2010, then dis discontinued. I put down here good alternative models are the L7, which is the taper bore one, and the Concerto and Concerto 2, at least for me. Now I have down here a little block, the, the old Dominique and the newer Dynamic. As you see the name change right there, from Dominique to Dynamic. Uh, Dominique was script on the top in the early models and had an emblem similar, similar to what we have here. So here we have a Dominique with a LeBlanc emblem. Here's a picture of a complete clarinet. I don't know about you, but I love the purple felt. Uh, I had Dominique ones. I never put pictures in there, but here's a dynamic one. You can see it has dynamic in script here. And here's the other joints. The full clarinet. 
that was really the only way to differentiate it was at the very top it identified which particular model it was. Then the Dynamic 2, which was the model of 776, made in the 1950s. See Dynamic 2 up here. Dynamic in script with the number 2 with lines between it. And if you notice, the emblem has changed. The G is now at the top of the crown part, the little block in the middle. Picture of the complete clarinet. I actually had this one. I have most of these, actually. <laughs> the Dynamic H model 1276, late 50s and 60s. See the emblem dynamic with that H there. Here's the upper joint. This is on my workbench. I use black foam to put things on, on my workbench. This, as you can see, is a regular bone, at least the upper joint. And the bell also had dynamic H on it. Lower joint was standard bone. And it looked like all the other ones of the day. Not much difference. It had some really pretty wood. Just looking at these pictures, I remember it now. Really pretty wood. Oh, yeah, I remember this. The, the ring run. Yeah, this one is a really nice playing clarinet. I mean, most of the blocks are. They're cylindrical bore, so they make them really easy to play. But if you like the increased consistent feedback pressure, yeah, go with the taper bore. Most players aren't that skilled to hear it, see that. And the bear also apparently had a dynamic H on it, too. So then we get to the dynamic H with the Pete Fountain signature in the bell serial number 268 in this example. You can see the script on the bell right there, Pete Fountain. The top of the upper joint, though, didn't identify this as a dynamic or Pete Fountain model, just had the emblem. And the bell had Pete Fountain and script on the bottom of it. As you can see it here in the case. And we get to the Pete Fountain Big Easy model. As you can see, it's a different, as you can see here, the emblem changed at this point. Uh, the LeBlanc, normal LeBlanc France emblem is kind of gone now. And they just have the word LeBlanc with, I think, France underneath it. And it says Big Easy above it. You can see the emblem on the bell is completely different now. It says Big Easy with a copyright pattern underneath it. And I showed you the catalog at the very top with the gold plated one and the uh, non gold plated models already. So that was the dynamic line of the uh, and the Pete Founder models that existed for LeBlanc Paris. Any questions or comments, please put them down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you later. 